Hi everyone, welcome to another Piranha Bytes. Uh, Lewis isn't here at the moment, he's away on mysterious secret business. So I'm here to talk about the comics that we've got coming out uh, this week. Uh, just a couple of picks for you guys. First off is... Thank you. We have uh, Thor by Donny Cates, uh, issue number 15. I just read it today and I've got to say, having not read Donny Cates' Thor before, this is like some of the best writing I've read in the Marvel comic for a long time. Uh, Donny Cates just has a way of getting the character uh, to a really real place and it's at a point in time where the character's basically having issues with Mjolnir, he's not sure what it's doing, why it's so heavy, all these questions, you can find them out if you read that comic, so come do that. Uh, Aliens Aftermath is a new series that Marvel is doing with Aliens, they've been doing gangbusters, just flying off the shelves at the moment, uh, I have no idea what's going on, you probably do, so you should come and, and have a look at that and, and tell us what that's about, okay, yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, Rorschach by DC, uh, that's happening, uh, th they've been going to some wild places with Rorschach at the moment, a lot of meta commentary on not just the fact that he's Steve Ditko, but now that he's Frank Miller and all that stuff going, so Tom King is one of the greatest writers in comics at the moment as far as I'm concerned, so anything he's written is worth picking up, uh, I would say. Um, this is a reprint of a title called The Nice House on the Lake, which uh, is by our boy James Tinian, recently come off of uh, a run on Batman. I've got to say, it's an absolutely fantastic comic. It's basically a kind of uh, mystery story where a character with a lot of money has invited all of his friends to come with him to his house on the lake, his nice house on the lake. Uh, but people aren't sure why. They're not sure what's going on here. Uh, you will find out because you'll read it and it's dope. And it, again, is some of the best writing I've read in quite some time in a comic book. Next is the latest issue of Batman the Detective, another issue that's been doing gangbusters at the moment, Batman in London, uh, going about trying to find out what's going on there. It looks like there's another Batwoman coming up, another mystery of the Batwoman. Did you see that movie? It sucked. I'd, I'm, that's getting cut. Anyway, um, so uh, Scream. Now there's this and Extreme Carnage have been showing up on the shelves. It looks like there's a lot of love being shown to our symbiote friends uh, here at Piranha Comics at the moment. Uh, I guess with the new movies coming out, it only makes sense. I'm a bit of a fan of Scream. I'm more a fan of the design, probably, than the character. But uh, I think if you're uh, if you're big on your Venom stuff, you should definitely come in and check that out because it's uh, it's looking to be shaping up to be some good stuff. Uh, next is Champions. I don't have much to say about this other than the cover is really banging. Um, and last but not least is Way of X. Uh, I'm a huge fan of what's going on with the X-Men at the moment. I think what Hickman's done. Uh, with them has been amazing and Way of X is really carrying on um, from what's been set up on Krakoa, the idea of the X-Men starting their own religion uh, under Nightcrawler especially and uh, if you've read the last couple issues then you know that there's some stuff going on with a certain uh, jolly red giant monster uh, living inside of Xavier's head so it's, uh, it's all starting to hot up it's all getting really good and um, yeah, I definitely recommend coming and, and picking it up before I word salad even more uh, last but not least, I want to take a cue from Lewis and do a bit of a recommendation from The Vault. This is Kurt Busaic's Marvels. It is one of my favourite Marvel stories of all time. It's kind of the quintessential Marvel story. This is basically, uh, you know, superheroes from the perspective of the public, of the, you know, civilians living in that world. Uh, and, you know, the story of Ben Urich, who Spider-Man fans will know uh, from, you know, his appearances in that, that series. And uh, we recently got in a brand new edition, which has all of the extras, all of the covers Alex Ross did for the series, an epilogue that they've just added now. And uh, especially with the new Marvel series that Busaic is doing at the moment, don't know if you can see it behind me, probably not. Uh, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's just one of the best Marvel stories of all time. So please come and check it out. I just realized I forgot to say who I was. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so this is Will. I don't know if I'll be able to edit that in at some point, at some point in, the, in I don't know what I'm doing, but that's okay. Uh, you don't know what I'm doing either. So that's the magic of Piranha Comics. I'll be seeing you boys and girls at some point soon. Uh, I hope this wasn't too much of a train wreck. I'll probably be fired after this. Bye, see you guys later. Come on up.